good, Monday Makers? In this week's episode, we're looking at an awning, a trellis, a robot design, a hack for hanging string lights, a simple side table, and a hack for making a hinge with the empty conduit and some other pieces of hardware. A lot of great builds and cool hacks this week. Let's jump in and check them out. First up is this awning from Rita. We can see it looks like they have a nice, beautiful back patio area. Looks like uh, there's a lot of flowers and just looks like a really nice place to kind of hang out and relax. And they recently finished this framework that sits over their seating area back here. And the design for it is really simple. It's just four verticals in the corners, just one in each corner, as you can see. And then they just use a few connectors, I think mostly T connectors it looks like, to basically just make a, a rung of pipe all the way around the top. And then a couple of feet below that, they did another rung all the way around. And then they supported the, the corners with 45 degree bracing. And they did that all the way around. And it looks like they're using some type of flange at the very bottom to just kind of secure it to the ground. I don't know if it's bolted in there, maybe not. But if anything, it's just, you know, a nice base for it. This gives it kind of that flat level foot to, to set everything on. And then it looks like they have their canvas material secured to the frame using ball bungees and those just run through the grommets on the canvas material and then just kind of wrap around the frame and that's a really great way to secure it because it allows you to do what they did here you can see on the side panel they basically you know let it loose and it falls down and they get shade from that side and then they can roll it back up and then use the ball bungees to secure it and i think they did the same thing here with the very top panel as well so if they just want to kind of open it up and then let the sun come through all they have to do is roll up the material and then just undo some of those ball bungees roll it up and then they can use the ball bungees to secure it all back together but really great build rita thanks so much for sharing that in the facebook group next up is a build from zen and this is a really simple trellis design so it's a, a lower and lean tomato trellis. And we can see here, uh, there's a wide shot of everything. Looks like they have really nice garden beds and they basically just built this, I call it like a single panel trellis. Uh, Cause we see a lot of people that do, you know, like a, a full rectangular square around it. But this is just a single panel that goes all the way down. And basically what they did was they got some vertical pipes and secured those to the raised beds every few feet. And then they just used some of the uh, conduit. It looks like, I think it's half inch conduit here. I think in one of the pictures you can see, yeah, it looks like there's a shim that's uh, sending it down to half inch EMT conduit. Um, and then they've just got the, the conduit going all the way across the top and they just use T connectors to connect the conduit and kind of hold it to the verticals. But it's a really simple design. From there, they just added the the, the arbor ropes hanging off those vertical or those horizontal pipes. And it looks like it's great. It looks like the plants are already starting to grab onto it. So really awesome designs in. Thanks so much for sharing that. We love seeing it. Next up is a robot. And this is kind of in the planning phase. Looks like Paul is building a robot. I think it's gonna be a home assistant robot, he said. And it looks like he's kind of modeling up everything together. And I think he's using one of the base kits from this company, Super Droid Robots. It looks like they make all kinds of different robots with different wheels and motors. And apparently it's super customizable and they'll even do custom robots for you. It looks like a really, really cool uh, website and a cool company. And he's basically using that base as you can see here in this picture, he's using one of their bases. And then from there, he's, I think, 3D printing some accessories that's gonna allow him to basically build off of the robot base and add some conduit that goes up and basically supports this, uh, this upper housing. I think there's a speaker in there, some lights and some other things. Maybe it's like the control center for the robot. Uh, but you can see here's kind of the, the framework. There's a lot of connectors in there. And basically this framework is gonna, you know, not only hold some of the other electronics, but it's also gonna allow the panels for the wood to kind of secure to it and create just a nice enclosure for everything inside. So this is really cool, really cool design, Paul. Thanks so much for sharing this. And we're excited to see, uh, you know, come to life and see everything that you do with it. So keep on sharing the updates, really awesome. Next up is a build from John, and this is actually more of a hack than a build. It looks like he's got some vertical pipes that are attached maybe in a back patio area. And as we can see, I think he said he uses concrete to secure quarter inch, uh, inch and a quarter EMT into the ground and then sleeves, I think either one inch or half or three quarter inch inside of that one, one inch and a quarter, which allows him to have this nice vertical pipe that's secured in the ground. And then he said for the last 10 years, he's used a solution, which is like a plastic PVC cap over top of the conduit. And then he's using a screw with a uh, wall anchor and that was holding the lights. And he said it worked fine, it held up for the last 10 years, but he wanted to do something a little bit more elegant. So what he did was he got some of the threaded pipe inserts, hammered that into the conduit, and then used a rubber bushing and, or a rubber washer, a flat washer. And then I think called this a Brad hole T-nut. 
and then a bolt with a white head. And basically, when he assembled that all together, this is what it looked like in the conduit. And basically, this just created this kind of uh, this post at the very top um, that allows him to basically wrap the lights around it and just is a nice solid place that you can just hang up the lights and secure it. So that's a really good hack if you're doing something similar. If you're building you know, an awning or something and you want to incorporate lights into it, that's a really great hack to be able to do that. So thanks so much for sharing that, John. Really great hack. Next up is a build from George, and he said this was a 30-minute build. He just needed a small side table. He said it was quick to put together. He shared a material list of everything that he used, all the connectors and the pieces of conduit and everything. And here is the finished build you can kind of see. And it's just four 90-degree connectors to kind of hold this rectangle shape together. And then he's using four rubber pipe feet on the bottom of the verticals and basically just created this really simple side table. And the way he secured the top to the frame was a really great method. I'm surprised we don't see more people do this, but just like uh, with John's light hack, he used some of the threaded pipe inserts hammered into each end of the vertical. And what this allowed him to do was drill into the top or through the top of the board into those threaded pipe inserts. Basically just create a hole in there and then you can you know, secure the bolt through the top and then into the threaded pipe insert. You can use some countersunk if you want them to kind of be level with the top or you can just do what he did here, which looks, looks really cool. And I think maybe this will be used outdoors. It looks like that's a patio chair. And I think with this polyethylene, uh, is that what it's called? Poly, uh, yeah, polyethylene commercial cutting board. Uh, I think it'll be waterproof and it'll be a, a really nice patio table and it looks great next to this uh, patio chair. So really great. Thanks so much for sharing this, George. Really awesome build. Next is a hinge hack from Paul. And here we can see the kind of finished hinge and it works really well. He shared this video of it in action. We can see uh, it looks like it works great and creates this really interesting hinge. And you can basically see that it's you know, two sides, of course, the two pieces that hinge. And on this side, on the right side, he used this 3D printed uh, kind of bushing that allows you to thread something into it. And then it expands inside the conduit and is secured that way. And basically, he's using an eye hook threaded into that that expands inside that conduit. And then he's got a nut inside of it, inside the eye hook there. And then on the other side, he's got this 3D printed accessory that's inserted into the conduit here. And then we can see there's a slit that's like a couple inches back in the piece of conduit. And basically this eye hook comes out of this other piece and then sits inside of that slit. And then there's a bolt that goes through the conduit and then through the hole in this insert here, you can see, and then it goes through the nut inside the eye hook. And when it's all put together, it creates this really interesting hinge motion. It looks like it works great. So that's a really, really cool hack for making a hinge. Never seen, never seen anything like this before. We've, we've done a roundup of different hinges. I'll link that video down below. Uh, but this is another great solution if you're looking to, to hinge two pieces of conduit in this way. That's all the builds I have for you this week. Thanks, everybody, for posting your projects. As always, we love seeing them, so keep on sharing them. And if you have any questions about your build, feel free to reach out to us. All of these will be linked down below if you want to check them out in more detail. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you in the next video.